Harry Williams, uh, in the, as a member of the 1974 um, World Cup team, um, first time an Australian team had made the World Cup in 74 in Germany, inspired me incredibly and I've said of the, the admiration and I just revered Harry Williams. Sadly though, the impact of Harry's achievements were not impacting into the wider community in the way they should have, and it, certainly into our communities, Aboriginal communities. I mean, Harry should have been promoted by the Australian Soccer Federation as it was then, and really held up and promoted right across the country into Aboriginal communities. This is what you can achieve. I recall, you know, speaking to, to Johnny Warren, because he played with Harry Williams with St George, he was with the Australian uh, team with, with Harry Williams, and he said to me, look, John, in about 1970, 71, I went to the Australian Soccer Federation and said, the greatest untapped talents in this country are laying in Aboriginal communities. All you've got to do is go in there with balls, shirts and coaches, and you will reap the benefits. And he said, they ignored me. Now, in, by the end of the 70s and the 80s, AFL and Rugby League had suddenly realised this. Soccer had the opportunity to jump in first and grab all of that talent up. So we've got a lot of catch up to do. I mean, we're 30, 40 years behind and we've got to really step up to the plate. Harry Williams had given them the opportunity as the person to hold up and promote. Totally missed it.